Okay, I'm going to see if this works at all. Um, what is evolution? Evolution is the change in genes in a population over time. So, for example, if a flu goes through and it kills a certain percentage of the population, the next time that flu goes through, it's going to kill uh, fewer people. Those genes that allow susceptibility are still in the population. So evolutionary uh, evolution is a population thing, and it's also a community thing. So uh, here we have a collection of shells from Western Florida, and this is a community. So the predators and the prey, the primary, um, well, produ well, I'm going to say primary producers, but uh, um, so we have predators and we have, uh, let's say, herbivores, uh, actually detritivores, um, all together working um, and either feeding off each other or feeding off of the resources in, society, um, in the uh, community. Um, but anyway, right here, this is the spiny, uh, spiny jewel box, and this is another type of jewel box down here. But um, and it's fairly self-exclamatory. Uh, Arcanella, uh, uh, cornata. Let's uh, cornuta. I'd say cornuta, but anyway, that refers to horns, so that's what those are. So this is this is contemporary, so you can see it's about an inch. Uh, it's not terribly thick, um, but anyway, let's go two million years in the past, and here we have the same species. It's actually called the same species. Um, and these are from Western Florida too. This is about two million years old, maybe a little bit less, but you can see much bigger. It's almost about two inches, inch and a half. I've seen them easily two inches, but it's just covered with these uh, spines. Um, and so over time, these spines, it benefited at this point, but not so much as time went on. Also, this is another one, and you see Procancellata um, and uh, Chinopsis. Uh, opsis means similar to um, Pro Procancellata. Let's go back into the future or the, the present, and this is what they're talking about. So here's Procancellata. So this is what it looks like now. It's a much smaller shell. Um, or clam. It's a surf clam and um, it doesn't have anywhere near the texture that it did two million years ago. This is really quite rough. Um, so these species have changed because the environment changed and um, meet, uh, spontaneous mutations within the, uh, the genome of the organism uh, were favored or not favored. Normally a mutation is a bad thing, probably 80, 90 percent of the time. But every so often a good thing happens and that individual is favored and their genes, more of their genes go into the future. So, you know, people who have a lot of children, their genes are going to be favored um, simply because there's more of them in the future. And these guys, you know, just shed their uh, sperm and eggs into the uh, environment and, and, and uh, fertilization takes place elsewhere, um, I believe. Um, but anyway, so let's let's dispense with the idea that evolution is a um, conscious process in any way, shape or form. Uh, animals, plants do not want to evolve. It's something that happens over time between generations. So, you know, if you're a little more immune to um, smallpox than your ancestors, it's because a lot of your ancestors that were susceptible to smallpox died. So when plagues go through a population, it's leaving survivors that in turn pop, uh, um, spread their genes and uh, 
produce the next generation. So it's, it's actually a remarkably complicated process um, in many ways. So and this is just, you know, a five minute blurb on it. Um, we'll see how that goes. Let's look at some other individuals. Like this one right here. And this one right here probably occupy the same environment. So I shouldn't go any further. This guy is, has not changed at all, but I don't have a good sample in, in the current uh, incarnation. But um, it's, it's quite interesting. This is another guy who's not changed significantly, but he has gotten smaller. That species has gotten smaller over time um, and so forth. And here's some predators. And uh, this one's changed quite a bit, actually. Um, and some of these are distinctly extinct. This guy is distinctly extinct. So anyway, this is not meant to show fossils, um, but there are individuals, there are modern individuals that are descendant of this particular one. So not everything goes extinct. That's the Florida State shell that is distinctly not extinct. So anyway.